Welcome to It's a Woman's World, a show which discusses any and all topics under the sun from a woman's point of view. Hosted by Ali Naifani, and here's Ali. Welcome to the show. Let's get started by introducing our co-host today. Hi, Janita. Hello, how are you? Janita Kathy, good to see you. We have Dr. Susan Strauss with us. Hi, Hi. Ali. Nice to be here again. Good, you are here. And Nava Johnson. Hey, Hello. Nava. Hello. Well, we are going to talk about something that um, I am just so excited to learn more about, and that is recycling, uh, something that I think we probably all uh, deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. All right. All right. Well, let's introduce our guests. We have Jean Buckley. She is an Hello. educator from Ramsey County. Hello. 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 Glad, glad to be here. And we also have Jennifer Kedward, and she is an educator from Dakota County. Yes, glad to be here too. All right, we're happy to have you. Garbage educators. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. Garbage educators. We talk trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And speaking of these words, I think that, you know, we hear the word recycle all the time. Yeah. But one, what is it really? I mean, what what can we recycle? Tell us about yeah. recycling. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, recycling basically means turning one thing into something else. So we use it loosely a lot when we're talking about waste reduction even or composting, but true recycling is turning a product into another product. So when we are talking today, we're gonna be talking about products that you can recycle to turn into other products. Like what other products? Yes, so uh, we actually have a variety mm -hmm. of items here. If we're talking about plastics, mm -hmm. you can actually uh, recycle plastics and it, be it becomes building lumber, if you've ever seen the decking, like mm -hmm. at Home Depot. Um, we uh, also can recycle newspaper into insulation in your home. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes, and uh, glass is one of our easiest to recycle. Glass turns into glass is usually what it goes for. Um, aluminum is one of our easiest to recycle too. An aluminum can placed in your recycling container will be back on the grocery store shelves in 60 days. Oh, really? Yes. As yes. an aluminum can? Just, yes. So like this? That's a steel can, oh, a tin steel. can, but it's still, um, it, it will be back as a steel can as well. So does it just get washed and yeah, sent or yeah, what? It actually, all these products will get um, processed, either melting down or shredded for paper. Uh, they go through a series of processes and get turned into another product. So it's usually not rinsing them out and putting them, filling them back with liquids mm -hmm. or foods. How time consuming is this process? Oh, good of question. Recycling? Yeah, it's, it's not that time consuming. It's definitely longer than um, some other uh, processes. You know, taking trash to a landfill is can happen within a day. Mm -hmm. Recycling, of course, takes, it can take a few months. It could take six months to fully uh, go through its cycle. But uh, it's really, it's, it's not that time consuming in the bigger scheme. All these products we like to think about are commodities. Mm -hmm. So just like anything else that you might use in your house, um, these are commodities. These are products that you can sell and turn into other products. For a mom mm -hmm. um, that's busy with getting kids ready for school, mm -hmm. that's working, that is um, organizing sports and all those other things, how can you make this so that it's relatable at home, mm -hmm. it's easy, you can involve your children, but you're not having to read a manual to figure out okay. where do I put what and when do I put it and is this really recyclable or trash? Mm -hmm. Right. I'll let Jean maybe take that one. <laughs> okay. We want to keep it really simple. Mm -hmm. So basically all your paper now you can recycle with the exception of wimpy paper. I like saying wimpy paper, paper that's easily terrible. So your Kleenex or paper towels, uh, napkins, if you use paper napkins, yeah. can't be recycled. They've been recycled too many times. Oh. Otherwise, all the rest of your paper now, your newspaper, magazines, catalogs, phone books, your paper that comes around packaging, your you know, spaghetti, pasta box, all those kind of things, put them in the recycling bin. Mm -hmm. So it's just the wimpy paper that we can, has been recycled too many times. What about the paper that comes inside, um, maybe this, for example, that's maybe almost a wax paper? No, that can't be that recycled. Can't. Yeah, I think of that as more of a plastic. Okay. A kind of a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if it's paper, if it's anything's paper, you know it's paper because it tears. So if you could tear that, can, whatever you're talking about is inside something, if you tear it and it tears easily, mm -hmm. you know it's paper and it can be recycled. If it's plastic, so this is plastic, you okay. can't tear this. And so this can't be recycled. But huh. it also can't be recycled because it's a plastic that they don't know how to recycle yet. So that's where it gets a little more confusing on plastic. But let's just touch on glass 
any kind of glass can be recycled. Don't have to remove the label. Don't have to worry about the top. All that can be left back on. So glass is that way. Any cans, she talked about the aluminum cans, mm -hmm. steel cans, all that can be recycled. Don't have to worry about the labels. You know, it's nice to give them a rinse out because it's going to a recycling center where people work. And so the less stinky and icky it is, it makes their working conditions nicer. Okay. So, you know, if you can give it a little rinse before you put it in the recycling bin, that would be awesome. Okay. Then, as far as these cartons now, all of these can be recycled. Your milk cartons, mm -hmm. um, things like that. So, just again, give them a rinse so they're not stinky. And sometimes people flatten them to give you a little more space in your recycling bin, but toss those in too. The problem, only problem with these is try to remember to remove the straw. The straws are a different kind of plastic, and so those should go in the garbage. So, okay. otherwise, those cartons can be now be recycled. You, you said you brought up something that, you know, people work with the recycling. And I, I'm in Hennepin County, and I know we can throw all of our stuff, all of this together. Yep. Which, to me, has been a nice enhancement of people more likely to recycle because mm -hmm. it's easier. Yes. Would you just explain what is, the, what is the process? I mean, where does it go? Sure. And what do people do there? Right. Yeah, Recycling uh, is actually a, um, a big job producer in Minnesota because not only the people who pick it up and it goes to the recycling center where pe where there's machines that do some of the sorting oh. like if it's a steel can a big magnet is going to pull those oh. out but there's also people standing there sorting as fast as they can so they don't have time to look at and here's we're getting into plastics now the numbers on here sometimes people have been educated about the recycling numbers mm -hmm. ignore them nobody as it's going through that fast conveyor belt is going to be looking <laughs> and seeing what kind of numbers on there. Mm -hmm. So what they're going to do is all the plastics can be thrown in together now with the exception of a few plastics that we don't want in there. And I want to hit on that um, recycling, like mm -hmm. we said before, is a huge economic uh, incentive for Minnesota and the U.S. and the world. Mm -hmm. China is one of uh, the best recyclers with their growing economy. There are 37,000 jobs created directly or indirectly in Minnesota alone Ooh, with wow. recycling. Wow. Yes, wow. huge. And and hundreds of thousands of dollars created every year, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, hundreds of millions of dollars created every year with recycling. And uh, I like to use the fact that um, for every one job that's landfilling, there's six jobs created for recycling. Wow. So it is a huge job incentive. So we're, we're speaking about how recycling is important economically. Mm -hmm. How about environmentally? Of course, yeah. yeah. We like to talk about the yeah. environment yeah. Of, uh, as yeah. educators. Uh, a lot of times uh, we talk about jobs more because that kind of triggers a lot of people to agree. Um, you, of course, don't have to cut down trees. You don't have to mine for oil. You don't have to mine for rocks for aluminum uh, when you're using recycled products. So by recycling, we're using less natural resources. Mm -hmm. It also takes a significantly less amount of energy to make a product out of a recycled product. Mm -hmm. I believe for um, glass, it is 50% less energy to make a glass bottle out of a recycled glass bottle. Mm -hmm. Paper, I believe, is 85%. I might have my percentages wrong, but significantly mm -hmm. less mm -hmm. energy. And so when I'm at the grocery store, I look at like a big plastic container like that. It might be some pastries in or something. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty about buying that. Should I be? Is that, is the, that's going to get recycled? recycled. Yep. So They're going to chop okay this up, okay. melt it down, yeah. and make it into a new plastic container or some other product. Okay. We brought some products with, but we, we didn't know if we have time. We can, we can look at some of those. But we kind of wanted to focus on when you're asking what happens to this stuff, it gets then from the recycling center, baled, big bales, and trucks or shipped or um, via rail to all parts of the country mm -hmm. or the world and gets made into new things. So we're talking about not just jobs of sorting it, mm -hmm. but making mm -hmm. it into new products. Okay. Um, but there are several different kinds of plastic. And yeah. you just want to, this is the most confusing thing. Pro and the problem at the recycling centers, when you have these big conveyor belts mm -hmm. and they have big machines going, plastic bags get stuck on the top big sharp tongs that go tongs that's not the right word <laughs> what is the right word um there are big wheels that just spin around to uh -huh. keep products moving we, right and so the plastic bags will get stuck on there mm -hmm. and that's a problem so we really 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 are asking people to not use plastic bags to collect the recyclables in and throw them into the cart with or or just be putting these in the recycling uh, keep these out of the recycling cart mm -hmm. if at all possible and take those too yeah so we want to make sure that people know that uh, 
recycling plastic bags is okay and it's great and we want you to recycle your plastic bags, mm -hmm. just not in your curbside cart. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can go to many, almost all of the grocery stores. Mm -hmm. Many um, major retailers also are a part of It's in the Bag program, mm -hmm. which is a recycling association of Minnesota program. And they are collected throughout the metro area. Mm -hmm. So almost every grocery store. And if your grocery store doesn't have one, you can ask for it. Definitely. So sort of a personal question then, um, a lot of times when I get plastic bags from the grocery mm -hmm. store or places, um, I will, you know, I have a container, I keep them in, and then I may use them instead of buying trash bags mm -hmm. for the little smaller trash oh, cans yeah. in my house, I use those. Mm -hmm. So that means yeah. once trash is in there, mm -hmm. then I throw it away. Is it okay to then throw that away? Sure. In the okay. garbage. Right. right. Yeah. In the garbage, yes. okay. it's going to be, most of the garbage is processed, so it will okay. either get burned versus landfilled. Some gets landfilled. Okay. Um, but plastic is something that sticks around for, you know, thousands and thousands of years and never decomposes. Okay. Um, if it gets burned, there's some BTU value to it. But so, yes, using it for a trash bag is fine. We just don't okay. want it in the recycling cart. Okay. And so okay. if you're going to want to recycle it, you want to take it with you back to the store um, and recycle it. Usually at the entrance to the store, there's a container for that. Okay. okay. I do the same thing. And then I was thinking even the other day, knowing mm -hmm. you were going to be on, I thought I'd buy plastic trash bags. Mm -hmm. And I thought, does that, oh, you know, yeah. form my garbage so that, because I don't always have a big enough mm -hmm. one. Then I got to thinking about that. That's plastic. It's not good for the environment. Mm -hmm. And yet I'm repeatedly using that to put my garbage in. Mm -hmm. But you're saying that's not too bad? Because well, it's going to be burned? Well, reusing your uh, shopping bag right. is great because you're at least giving it a longer life. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard because they make grocery or uh, garbage containers that you can only use certain bags yeah. for, yes. and you yeah. have to buy those bags or yeah. you uh, have smelly garbage. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, it's. We wouldn't say it's great, but we sometimes don't have a choice either. If you want to contain your garbage, yeah. you have to buy that garbage bag. And sometimes, you know, the garbage is mushy and wet, and mm -hmm. you don't want it to go through yeah. like yeah. a paper bag. Mm -hmm. So maybe in another segment, we'll talk about composting and what to do with <laughs> that, that would be, garbage. That, that would be yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah. us back, and we'll talk yes. about that. Yes. Less mushy, smelly garbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, one I had a question on is foam. Is that? Yes. Something. Foam? Yeah, you know those foam yeah. containers you get from like if you take out food sometimes. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Like yeah. those, oh, are those styrofoam. Oh, yeah. styrofoam. Styro okay. I'm sorry, styrofoam. we dropped okay. our styrofoam. Oh, Here it is. Yes. <laughs> styrofoam. Okay. This so, is what yes. I want to know. So styrofoam is a plastic. It's made from petroleum, uh -huh. just like all of our other plastics. Okay. But they they uh, manufacturers pump air into it to make it a foam. Okay. So it, there's actually more air in this than oil. But it's really hard to recycle, and actually in uh, Minnesota, we don't have a great recycling program for styrofoam. So don't include these oh, styrofoam. Okay, so those in your, don't go yes, in. Yes, don't, okay. don't throw them away. In. Okay. Throw them away. And okay. if you can, don't uh, go to places or uh, mm -hmm. buy products that are packaged in styrofoam. Mm -hmm. What about electronics? Like batteries? Yes, the blocks, like <laughs> the, the big... Or, or, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I thought oh, you were talking about styrofoam. Oh, you mean like little batteries, like double yeah. A and stuff? Yeah, like yeah. ones that die or... But what were you speaking about? Oh, I was just so. thinking you were saying electronics are packaged in the big blocks of styrofoam. And oh, they're just that, yes. A okay. pain, yes. Okay. Um, no, but batteries, hazardous waste is a whole other issue. Don't put hazardous waste in your recycling. Paints, um, even empty oil uh, containers, batteries. Um, just because they a lot of times don't get taken out at the recycling center and they don't they're not set up to take batteries at the recycling center. Those little ones can go into the garbage though, can't they? They can uh, in a lot of counties. I know Hennepin, Dakota, I don't know about Ramsey. Yep. You have uh, recycling for batteries. Uh, household batteries. That yes. Yeah. A, double A, yeah. you know, those, those ones. Can, these. Yeah. But if you have a little button battery for a hearing aid mm. or mm -hmm. um, your rechargeable batteries, um, the cell phone batteries, right. those should not go in the garbage. Mm -hmm. Those need to go, you know, I always keep a plastic bag and <laughs> fill that with batteries, and then when I have enough of them, I take those to the hazardous waste facility oh, good for idea. free. Yeah. Good yep. idea. Um, they'll accept yeah. those. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, Jean and um, mm -hmm. Jennifer, thank you yes, for being with us. Our time has come to an end. Yeah. Very wow. interesting. We could talk for hours. We, we could. could. <laughs> but as it was suggested, you'll have to come back and tell yeah, us more. Sure. But this was a great start. We so. love talking trash. All yeah. right. <laughs> well, we love having you talking trash. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It was very yeah, interesting. Thank you, ladies. Yes. Thank you. Well, Great stay question. with us. We're going to talk about a women's veterans initiative next.